end up with a greasy hair little boy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's him! Hi! Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bruno Brito. You do comment with the movies and the stuff. And today we're gonna continue watching that for her drives. Let's go. I just watched the episode. Um, I'm not certain what's happening with Brie. Why is she so in love with this man? Andrew and also thank you. We're gonna go after this guy because that's something going on here. Susan and Gabby, Susan, thank you so much. I, lo I love her in the last episode about like the candy and she's been like, okay, let, let Juanita win. Gabby was the same stuff, the same story. Lynette and Irene is gonna become a problem. It's already a problem, but like, honestly, I don't know. Now they're gonna put the marriage close. Lynette's gonna have to do something. I'm not certain what. Who in her life? <laughs> Catherine and Robin, they're gonna be happy in Paris. I'm so happy with this. I'm uh, probably we're gonna we'll lose them, but like honestly, I love lesbians being happy, so that's it. Uh, be happy. And that's it. Oh, and, and Patrick find it, Danny. And Patrick is a killer, so like, yeah. And also, let's not forget that we have a serial killer here who killed already two. I mean, killed the waitress and almost killed Julie, as far as we know. We have a killer here, it's not Patrick. But the fact that Patrick also strangled the woman in New York, I'm thinking now that it's Danny again, because you know, genetics. Let's continue. I will hope you like this video, because you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me reach 10,000 subs someday. And also, I have a Patreon, I'm gonna post with the and the lessons, and post on these videos. Everything is a link in the description. My computer is not broken anymore, I hope so. <laughs> That's it, let's go. Good neighbors. They even help you find your lost pet. <laughs> I love that this is like, okay, you're gonna grab the turtle and breathe it. Over at the slightest hint of trouble. Oh no. Whether you want them there or not. You know what I'm tired of fighting about. Okay, fine, walk away. It's what you always do. <laughs> Gabby, what are you doing? Uh, you two are arguing, so... So you decided it would be fun to eavesdrop? Ah, hot dog. Our egg donor backed out. Not again. And the surrogate we hired will pull out if the procedure isn't done in the next month. No. Okay. Why are you discussing this with her? Oh, for God's sakes, I was eavesdropping. Catch up. Okay, yeah. I'm <laughs> We've been... Yeah, maybe we're not supposed to be parents. Uh... Don't talk like that. Come on. Doesn't it seem like the universe is trying to tell us something? Oh, no, Gab, you're not. Why not take mine? Take your what? My eggs. Shit. Good neighbors. They're people who try to help others. Oh! <laughs> Bad neighbors are people who make promises they can't possibly keep. This is gonna become a problem, right? Team is still missing. Paper said a we have a killer. Was the, she's redheaded. Her family who said she had vanished on her way to work. It quoted her friends, who said she wasn't the type to run away from home. I know that she's not reading even the part, but okay. It quoted, no one thinks about evil until it shows up on their doorstep. Is that Julie? Which it soon would. Okay, we're gonna figure out who is the guy. It's a man, obviously. Ah. Oh my god, feet! <laughs> I'm not stealing anything. This is a repossession. Do I act stupid to you? Fire! Fire! People come quicker when you yell fire. Now, I believe I told you to hit the dirt. What's happening? Where's the fire? Susan, you okay? I'm fine. Just call 911. Hey, what's going on? You the guy who's four months behind on his payments? Yeah. Ah. Four months? Stop, drop and roll! <laughs> drop and roll! Push it. Thank you. Why didn't you tell me you were having money problems? I was hoping business would pick up before anybody found out. <laughs> but I guess that's no longer an option. Ah, that's her fault, okay. Mike, we talked about this. I told you I am willing to help. And I told you I'm not taking my wife's money. So you prefer to lose your truck? I'm going to run a plumbing business without a truck. I don't know. I'll figure it out. You'll be so stupid. You'll be my sister for no reason. How did your meeting with the publisher go? Fantastic. Bruce loved the idea of a Nouvelle Southern cookbook. And your brother came up with the marketing Your brother. In the room. Except, of course, you don't actually have an MBA. What are you talking about? I mean, Eli. Golden Child never got his degree. 
Is this true? So why lie? Yes, I'm a few classes short. Is one of them ethics? Andrew, please. Wait! I don't understand. It was the final semester. We were about two months in. Oh. And the doctor told me my mother was terminal. I left school. I can't, guys. Home, so I can't. I'll be like, fuck you. That's not a reason to lie. I can save you a phone call and bring in her death certificate. That's okay. It doesn't change the fact that you lie. Everyone steps over the line now and then. Let's all make an effort not to. Shall we? Brie, why are you acting like Andrew the villain here? I don't understand it. It's here. Dievuchka, kapam dana itla etza platia. Who are you? Ishio strašne je čem predadušije. Sorry for the way she's been talking to you. Don't worry, you're not losing a son. You are gaining a pain in the ass. If you like, maybe I get a little sloppy with the pushpins. You're sweet. I love you. Dje je varila što na hajčoše vrabolši snišit. Svani falicio ti meni još ramno ne najdjoš. If I wanted you to know, I would say it in English. Mrs. I can say it in English. <gasps> I love you. Okay, I love her. Need anything else? Inspiration. <laughs> Sorry, okay. we just have muffins. <laughs> Why do I have chemistry? <laughs> you mind if I ask him what it's about? You gonna be there? You really want to know? Okay, why do I have chemistry? I'm so sorry, guys, but like, he's very charming. This guy meets this girl, takes her from nothing, then one day she just disappears with another man. With no reason. Sucks for the guy. What does he do? I don't know all the details, but you said it was dark, right? No, oh, no. Seems to me the guy would kill her. Funny, that was exactly my first instinct, too. Thank you, Danny. You asked my permission to be an egg donor, and I said no. Oh, I wasn't asking you. I was telling you. Sorry, you can't do this without my approval. Yes, I can. Which means I can stop you from handing out your eggs like party favors to every childless gay couple that wanders by. You cannot stop How many have you? Whatever I want with my eggs. As your husband, please don't do this. It'll be too weird having your DNA living next door. I don't care. My mind is made up. I am going to have I mean, Bob and Lee. You're gonna, you're gonna have you're gonna separate and you know the fact that it's not gonna be okay that She said, go ahead and call the police, you'll never find me. And that's it. Really? How much more do you need? Thank you. Start your deportation now. Ma'am, without proof of criminal activity, there's nothing I can Okay, but can we search her? Ah. It all makes sense now. You're single, right? Never had any kids? You just don't get it. Can you somebody with kids? Nice looking family. That your daughter-in-law? Yeah. You two get along? Don't get me started. Yeah, perfect. Got a minute? <laughs> MJ, what are you doing? Clogging the sink. What? Daddy needs work. Oh. For him. Really? Hi, I'm having a problem with Mike and his male ego. Long story short, can I clog your drain? <laughs> Honestly? So don't phone Mike until I get home. There's enough there for a tip, but careful when you give it to him. I don't want him thinking anyone's doing him a favor. Oh <laughs> my god, yeah, nobody's gonna find a way to. So I suggested we have a little dinner to let them sample the recipes themselves. I think I know why Andrew tried to discredit me yesterday. Oh? You knew you had me auditing the books, and... <gasps> Did you charge the Donnellys for five cases of vodka? Yeah, so? According to our invoices, only four were delivered to their party, and the Rotary Club luncheon was charged for seven cases of wine, and only six showed up. I don't know, Andrew. Why are you even looking at this stuff? And I seem to recall you're having a party that same weekend with lots of wine and lots of vodka. Okay, yeah, I, I took some leftover booze to my house for a party. Ah, uh, come on. You Can't you see the type of person he is? Yes, he is the type of person who leaves college. To Andrew. His dying mother, you are the type of person who steals from clients. Andrew, no, you're wrong here. Believe what you want to believe, but I'm not going to listen to this. Okay, you didn't do this? Just say it. How stupid can you be? Apparently, I'm stupid enough to have trusted you. Well, if I'm the problem, why not just... Oh, no. I'm tempted. Don't push me. Clear your things out and turn in your keys. Exactly what he wanted. Andrew, you will be better. 
Where is that Andrew? The Andrew that sleeps with the mother's boyfriend. I need him. <laughs> Go faster. <laughs> Get in. You're the mother. You can say that you're grabbing some clothes. <laughs> Your mother is a prude. That is what happens to women when they grow old. Look, kiss me. Mm. <laughs> oh, Just pretend to get in, Lynette. Who cares? It's your house. Preston and Arena are about to pull over. I gotta get home fast. I can go fast. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so stupid, but okay. The thing still has to happen. <laughs> Mmm. Honey maple short ribs drizzled with manzanilla sherry. These are amazing. Ah, but you go fuck yourself. I'm so sorry. Ah, but you. Really Firing your own son. I've done worse things to Andrew. Exactly. We have a very complicated relationship. You fired him. No, that's just our pattern. He provokes me and I push him away, but we always come back together. Exactly. He's his son. And the way he spoke to you. Uh... Sam. He's my son. Oh my god, Bri, wake up, I can't. So funny, I've had all this work right here on the lane. My earring. I'm looking all over for that. Where'd you find it? Gabby's bathtub drain. Sports bra, and when she went to take a stop, hey, do you uh, want to have sex? <laughs> so now I have to return all that money. No, you're not. You were paid for. You're saying everyone on the street knows I'm having financial trouble. No, oh, I'm so sorry. Everybody on the street knows since figured that out when they saw your truck get reaped. Thank you. Our driveway. Had a busy day wasting my time. This is so stupid. Sleep on the couch. This is so stupid. You act like a child. What's happening? You don't? She has money to help her. What kind of male ego is this? I think I just I just got home and I I thought I heard a noise. No, it's fine. Just hurry home, okay? To Gabrielle Solis, the best neighbor to childless, upwardly mobile gay guys could ever have. Ah, beautiful, so hot. 50% chance it's a boy. Then it's makeup and rhinestone vests. What? He's kidding. <laughs> he better be. There's no way I'm allowing. Oh, that's it. That's a problem. Mm. He's not gonna be your son. I already have two girls. I'm so sick of buying dresses. When he's old enough, I'm gonna take him on the biggest shopping spree ever. Exactly. Explain to her. I guess you can do that when we come back to visit. Visit? Where are you going? My mother lives in upstate New York. We thought we'd move closer to her so the baby can be around. Oh, that's right. They are from New York. Is that a problem? It just never occurred to me that you guys would leave and take my only son. He's not your son. This child, it'll have your genes, but it won't be yours. You get that, right? No. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is acting. Congrats. You ready? Wake up, Gabby. Wake up. What's going on? Come out of the kitchen. I want you to spend some time with these people. Mingle. I love this actor. Don't drink, Bruce. I'm an alcoholic. One drink. I'm not asking you to swing from the chandelier. Why are you so nervous? I really put my neck on the line. Oh, my God. It's hurting. No one likes the idea. No one. This isn't sherry. This is vinegar. Vinegar? Oh no. Oh my god. <gasps> it's ruined. Who had access? Did you give Andrew's keys to anyone after you fired him? He never returned his key. Oh, Bree. No! Then we'll give the plates back. The publisher guy's giving a little speech and then they're gonna eat. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna lose my cookbook career over this. <sighs> Give me a lighter. Bon appetit, everybody. <laughs> ah, shit. It's Martha. We're getting cobbler in the parking lot! 
I just made you real hot chocolate. Don't I get a smile? My son tried to ruin my career. Really? You gotta believe this? It had to be substituted for the sherry after you'd selected the bottle, but before you'd left for the event. Thank you, awesome. And the ingredient had to be something you wouldn't sample. Think, think. Andrew's the one taking this fall. No, that's not possible. What does he stand to gain? What a good question. Enjoy your chocolate. Thank you, awesome. Thank you, my god. -o. Really? You have to rub in her face. So how can I tell her I'm dead broke? How can I say, I can't take your money because it won't begin to cover the debts I've been racking up for the last year? Why? She thinks it's a couple of truck payments. This is not a marriage. Tell me how much you need. Thank you, Carlos. Oh, yeah. Double cap. Extra hot, right? Wow. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna train a no phone five shot. Pump catch five lighter with no phone. Uh, I forgot how easy. The best way for him to get revenge is to take something from her. <gasps> but what can he take that's gonna be as bad as what she did? Danny. The kid. <sighs> He's gonna take the kid, right? That's what I'm thinking. So I guess Carlos talked to you guys? He did. So it's not happening. So where's Lee? I want to talk to him too. He left. No, no, come on. I can't yeah. be happy. After Carlos came over, Lee and I got into yet another fight and we broke up. Oh my god, I can't. Are you kidding me? This is homophobic. This is homophobic. Can't go through it again. I'm determined to have a child. It's okay, Gabby. Like I said, it was a lot to ask. Ah, it's not her fault. I mean, I'm so sorry. I don't want to be rude, but like, thank God Bobby stay, you know? <laughs> ah, come on. I hate this. What are you doing? I need your help. Preston can't find his shoe. I put it in the oven. <laughs> Come on, hiding a shoe isn't going to stop them from getting married. I know. I just wanted a few more minutes before I had to tell my son I'm not going to his wedding. Yeah, you are. I will not. I wish. I wish. I went to church more often. I could really use a favor from the man upstairs. <laughs> You're not going to believe what I found. I owe you one. I'll see you Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tommy like, what? <laughs> what we found it? I'm guessing this one's much nicer than your first wedding dress. <gasps> what about the guy in Italy <gasps> who pressed charges after you cleaned out his bank account? Oh, she was married multiple times. That guy was a pig. All that matters is that one hour from now, I will have a ring on this finger. And now, will be the most important person in his life. And he will believe every word he always does. Oh. You listen. Tell me you listen. Preston. Mom, do you mind? This is ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> the file. Thank you, Preston. My god. Uh. Your father told me you called off the wedding. Thank you. I know you hate me right now, and I just want you to know that I am okay with that. She thinks I got mother chopper. I love you so much, I would rather have you resent me, or even cut me off completely than to allow you to make a mistake that could ruin your life. So go ahead, hate me for as long as you want, and when you are done, I will be here waiting. Oh, stop her. I want to cry. I love her. Oh my God, she's such a good actress. 
Tyler, Nikki, this is great. It's gonna take too long. Because I miss you already. Ah, no touch. Hey. Hey, where are you going? Ah, really, Aggie? <laughs> He's not. It's not gonna be him. He's not gonna be him. It's Preston's loss, man. I mean, she's I not wet head, so nah. But he works in a coffee sure, shop. No, I get that. But what would he do, Julie? No, it's not him. No. Okay. Oh, I promise, no, no funny business. I mean, <laughs> unless you want some. Ah, <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little out of your league, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, I didn't come to America to. <laughs> End up with some greasy haired little boy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's him! Okay, that was good acting, congrats. It is him? What? It is him? It is him! You're kidding me! Wow, this is so. <laughs> You can't hear me for her. I mean, she's not perfect, but you know. But we don't pay attention because we're worried about our marriages. Ah, Mike is being so stupid. Yes, we don't pay attention to evil because we think it will never come to our house. But it does. Hey, Mrs. Gava. You kidding me? Order for school. And sometimes. How you doing? Daddy. Why you would he kill Julie? You know? Try to kill Julie. Okay, wait a second. I'm busy. Okay. First of all, congrats for the TV show. Because in any moment I thought of him and he showed up in some parts in the season, but I was like, I don't know, he's a random person. He barely showed him having any contact. He didn't have any contact with Julie before because Julie was in the first episode and he doesn't show up in the first episode. Probably we're gonna have a flashback, but like about that girl in the coffee shop, he only asked her for like do the milk, like something like that, to skim the milk. I don't know. And then that hit. I wow, I'm shocked. Congrats, congrats to the TV show. It was a person that was there all the time, but it was not uh, obvious. Even though I think Angie would be better, but like even so, I understand because I love Andy, Angie, and I also I have the feeling that Angie is not gonna continue after the season because it's always. The person on the mystery is not, it doesn't continue. That's it. Um, okay. Let's go to the next episode. Um, Lynette was awesome. Great. Um, poor Preston, I understand him, but like, poor her. Poor Irina, because, okay, she's a bitch. She is. But she doesn't deserve to be killed. By an ugly guy, because that is ugly. I feel bad about Bobby and Lee. Bobby's hot. And I understand him being a little bit resentful of Gabby, but like, come on, it would be a bad choice. Mike is being an asshole. Why is it okay for you to ask for money for your friend, Carlos, but it's not okay for you to ask money for Susan? Because you'll be like, oh, Susan's not gonna act like you're, you're lucky to have me? Shut up, who cares? You're so stupid. Oh, it's so machista. It's so stupid. And honestly, Mike is not the type of guy who is machista. What's happening here? Tom is more like that. Carlos is more like that. Also sometimes. <laughs> Mike, Mike is fine, honestly. But okay. Also, let's be honest here. There's not a lot of episodes that show Mike's personality, but okay. Bree, I want to slap you. I'm not certain what you're doing, but I want to put my hand in your beautiful face, Master Claus, and slap you. Because what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Awesome has to rub in your face. Awesome. Awesome has to rub in your face. Something that's so obvious. Come on. Let's go to the next episode. I'm so sorry. It's getting to the end of the season and I'm getting worked up. <laughs> Let's go. Bye. <laughs> but she's the first blunder. That's something I want. The hair or no? There is a house in the town of Fairview. Oh, we're gonna talk about Eddie, right? house lives a monster. You may ask how such a monster came to be. And that's a very good question indeed.
Oh, I already know that he's gonna be a great episode. I'm out of scotch. I'll buy some more while I'm out. You got any in your room? No, and stay out of it. Oh, the mother's drunk. I know you've been stealing my booze. You can wait a little while, right? Oh, okay. Problems in the house. His name was Eddie. Everyone thought he was harmless until the day his mother went into his room. Oh. She was just looking for a bottle of scotch. What's he found it? Soon everyone in town would be asking, How does the monster come to be? Well, he kills a lot of people, not the only the ones that we know. Sadly. Okay. Why Julie? What Julie mm, did for him? Come on. Mary Alice! On a Monday. I love her. He had just turned four. Oh, he's gonna talk about him the episode. Great. I love it. I love that part of us. Nowadays, we don't have TV shows like that, you know? With 24 episodes explaining a lot of stuff. Baby, I said I was sorry! It's too late, Barbara. I can't take it anymore. But you can't just walk out. We have a kid! No, you have a kid. I never wanted him. <gasps> I never wanted any of this. For him! Excuse me. Is this your child? What's it to you? I'm sure you don't want to be talking like this in front of him. I was just leaving. By the way, everyone go to Parker so you get married with boo. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> of course that the man's leaving. Of course. So. She's gonna help because she's a nice person. Oh, it's you. Oh, I love Miguel. It's like him. You want to complain about your husband, I promise. I won't defend him. <laughs> Don't just stand there then. <laughs> on in. She's such a nice person. She killed one person, you know. <laughs> what about friends? We've helped each other get through all sorts of problems. Yeah. I've never really been the type of woman to have girlfriends. Why? I'm 35 years old with a kid. I'm guessing I'm not really going to be having any boyfriends either. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. Women in your situation find love. All the time. Just have to look for it. Goodbye. You take care, Eddie. It's gonna be a heartbreaker one day. Ah, tell me about it. Just like his father. Ah, that's the problem. You resent him. Oh, hi, Eddie. Remember me? I'm not supposed to open the door. Oh, he's alone. He's not here. Oh, well, tell your babysitter then. He's alone. You, you do have a sitter, don't you? Eddie, where exactly is your mother? Yes, Mary Alice. Oh my god, I love her so much. I can't. This episode is going to be great. My friend, Mary Alice. Well, nice to meet you, Mary. Name's Ron. <laughs> Mary. Thanks, but I'm not going to be here that long. Get up. You're leaving. Whoa! <laughs> she can't leave yet. No, this party's just getting started. I want to sleep with them. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. Oh, baby, don't uh, don't you want to get my phone number? Come on. I know I should have stayed home, but I was already dressed when the sitter canceled, and I really oh, I was gonna say this. Hiya, sitter. It's just I really need a man. You don't need a man. Come on. Being a mother means always putting his needs ahead of yours. Yes. Oh, Eddie, it's not your fault you ruined my life. <gasps> ah, for him, he begins as a child. Problems. Gabrielle met Eddie on a Tuesday. Okay, he's gonna talk about everybody. No, I can't go get my nails done because I'm waiting for the freaking movers. Besides, I doubt this town even has a spa. Congrats for them for making Gabrielle for the first season the same way, you know? It's the hair. Oh, he's older. Who the hell are you? Eddie! How did you get in here? Well, I've been playing here since the other people moved. Can I still do that? No! Get out! Go! Go home! Shoot! 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 Fuck him! Oh, right. Well, I don't really do the kid thing. Wait. So? Whoa, 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 whoa. You missed a spot. Oh, sorry. Don't apologize. <laughs> it didn't work. Shh. Keep your voice down. It might be one of those Stepford wives with another welcome to the neighborhood cake. <laughs> Some of the neighbors are nice. 
That lady with the red hair makes her own Halloween candy. You mean the one whose parents named her after cheese? No, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. If you can sew, I am locking you in my basement and you are staying here forever. Cool. Oh, yeah. I'm kidding. You've been coming here every day for a week. Isn't your mother mine? No. Okay, well, then why don't you stay for dinner? I'll cook. Great. You're gonna cook? Although so you're saying you don't want to take a bath with me? Well, I guess the pans can wait until Yaolin recovers from her double pneumonia. <laughs> All right. What the hell? Who are you? Oh, Eddie! He's my husband, Eddie! Get out! This is how you've been spending your days. I mean, it's company. He's His mother totally ignores him. I'm thinking of going over there and saying something. No, stay out of it. For him. But he's so sad. I don't care. We can't hang out so much anymore. I need to make friends my age, and you need to make friends your age. And where's your friends? <sighs> oh, honestly, the guy looks hot. I'm so sorry, but like... <laughs> it's anger. Is this a guy? Yes, okay. I'm pretty beautiful. Do you have a girlfriend? Maybe you could uh, buy her something nice. Uh, I don't have a girlfriend. Oh. I mean, you can't accept the money. You're still young. Well, it wouldn't matter how old I am. Girls never notice me. Uh, I found him, I feel well, pretty. You... One girl at school. Do you ever talk to her? Does she have nice eyes? She has nice everything. Okay. Well, you can start by mentioning her eyes. Okay, where are we? The season. A genuine compliment. Or between the five seasons where we have the jumper, you know? Well, roses are even better. And then eventually, you can work your way up to jewelry. You can't afford all that. Nah, you can, with the money. Ah, but it's so nice, I love it. Oh, you can. She's being stupid right now, but we are talking about you right now, okay? <laughs> Wow, the house is a mess. Excuse me. Congrats on making the house uh, being worse and worse in the time. Eh? You're not the woman who has sex with her gardeners, are you? Oh, good heavens, no, that's uh, somebody else. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I gave Eddie some advice on how to talk to girls. Oh, I'm glad someone did. The kid is a lummox. Okay, she's a terrible mother. Well, what I didn't realize is that the object of his affection is my daughter, Danielle. <gasps> oh. Roses. She's out of his league. No, that's not what I mean. So what, you want me to talk to him? Uh, yes. Uh, if you could just say something to let him down easy. Mm. You got it. Uh. What's going on? This lady says you've been stalking her daughter. No! I didn't say that. I was trying to woo her. <laughs> don't need to mock him. Oh, who is mocking? I am thrilled. Oh my gosh, he's awful. I the only girl he'd end up with would be blind, deaf, or inflatable. Bye, now that Please don't laugh at me. I'll do what I want, Romeo. And don't worry. I want to cry. I'll make sure he stops hassling your daughter. She's a problem. Why you don't kill her, you know? <laughs> ah, come here. Wow, he's a good actor, congrats. Oh, you're right. Then then you could have told me that she was out of my league and saved my mom the trouble. I wouldn't have said that, and I definitely would him. You. Why not? It's pretty funny. Wow, he's a really good actor, congrats. You can see his pain. Then you would be happy to talk to you. As a friend. I don't want a friend. I want someone to love me. For him. Stop. I'm losing my mind. Of course you do. Why? I'm feeling pity of a killer. You just have to be patient. You just have to find them. Yes. Oh. Up front, half after. For him. So where do we go? 
down there. I love your hair. You can do whatever you want. Fine. Wait, wait, wait. I got something. Ah, you kidding me? I got you these. <laughs> He's so laughing. Oh, it's the laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> the laugh is the problem. Let's just go. I didn't laugh at him in the last episode. <laughs> What can I get you? No, let me see it. Oh, that's how it began. Which season we are? Like this season? Because he's working the cop shop. Actually, he's now my ex-husband. Oh, okay. Okay. We are in the fifth season. Well, if it makes Oh, he's in Austin Powers. A lot of people like to date you. I'm talking about the act of Eddie. <laughs> he's Oppenheimer. <laughs> Your use of perspective? I can't believe you've come so far in just a few weeks. Which is why I have a surprise for you. What? Okay, so they're talking for weeks. Signed you up for a two week seminar at the Art Institute. Two weeks. And before you say you can't afford it, I already wrote the check. Ah, so nice. This is like the nicest thing in Guys, Susan is a nice person. That's it. I love her. When you love something that much, you can't just let it go. This is just about the only thing that makes me happy. Then to hell with the rest of the world. Oh no, he's gonna fall in love with her. Oh, come on in! I'll be right down! I've got so much to tell you! Yeah, me too. Beginning of the sixth season. Why are you wearing that? <sighs> Getting married. To who? Mike. But, but he divorced you. Long story. But then this madman kidnapped MJ, and so I went after him, and then Mike came after us, and he saved us both. So... Long story. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it down the aisle. Are they chocolate? No, I don't. <laughs> don't do it. They just smell so good. I mean, the wedding. If you're not sure, don't marry Mike. Oh, no, Eddie, I... I'm sure. I've got the dress. I have to marry somebody. You could marry me. Oh, no. <laughs> <gasps> no, Susan, no. You almost got me. Don't laugh at him. <laughs> oh, you're you kidding are me. so sweet. It you was Susan. It was supposed out. to be Susan, not Julie. Oh. It was so oh you're kidding me, my god, this episode's amazing. Wow, the first, the best episode of the season, I'm being really honest. And wife, you may kiss your bride. After the Catherine problem. <laughs> like we're gonna have the Catherine problem soon. I did, but like ah. I can't believe this. And they're actually... Really, they didn't know the difference between the color of the hair, the age. <laughs> ah, it's so dark. You can see it. It was supposed to be Susan. It was supposed to be Susan. Oh my god, my head. I still can't believe it happened. Keep asking myself, how can there be this kind of evil in the world? Oh my god. This was done by some weak and significant piece of garbage that doesn't even deserve to be on this earth. My god, why am I feeling pity of him? It was during a Friday night game of charades that Lynette was clued in Morning. to the truth of Eddie's life. Three words. Three words. Thank you. <laughs> you, oh, oh, pregnant. Bloated, swollen, huge. <laughs> lady, Tom, I'm a lady. No talking. Better than hitting. <laughs> Where's my kid? 
Hey, Barbara, he's in here with us. You want to come in? No. But you're coming in. Eddie. Get out here. For him. I'm having fun. Well, you should have thought about that before you hid my stuff. I didn't hide it. Everything okay? That's nothing. Yeah, he hides my booze and then acts all ashamed when I call him on it. I know you can't even faster. Hey! Mrs. Oh, Scavo, it's okay. It's okay. For him. I I don't think you should talk to your son that way. Oh, the math. What do you care? This is awful. This is awful. I hate this. I feel so big of him. Congrats for the TV show. In one episode, so in this. He never had a happy mother. I'm out of scotch. Beginning of that. I'll buy some more while I'm out. And then she find out the fucking... Oh my god. But we all know the woman is a drunken nightmare. We complain about her. We gossip about Nobody her. Nobody calls social services for years. Into that house where we know something bad is happening. He's probably so damaged he doesn't know how to leave. Yes. What do you want to do? Where are you going what? with this? Ma, I'm back in the store. Ah, something's gonna happen. Besides what is that? It. You're a scrapbook. You gotta tell me the truth, okay? Oh, uh, now you care? Did you have anything to do with hurting those girls? <gasps> oh my God. I didn't raise you to to be like this. You didn't? Didn't you? Okay, who am I rooting what for here? Don't do that. Put, put that down. I always said the worst mistake I ever made in my life was having you. He's gonna kill her. <laughs> who am I rooting for here? I don't know. <laughs> He's gonna kill her. I mean, I'm fine with that. She's awful, awful. <laughs> what is he for him? I want to cry. It's not his fault. It's his life. Hey, Eddie, perfect timing. Miss Scobo, what are you doing here? Oh, my God. Tom and I have been talking, and we would like it if you would move in with us. Oh, my God, Lynette. I can't. I know, it's a big change. Oh, my God. Is she passed out? Ah. Uh, Dead drunk. Oh my god, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna faint. I'll come live with you. You're Lynette can't catch a break, over. right? Like she can't catch a break. Believe me, Miss Scavo. She wouldn't hear a word. <laughs> okay. Wow, there's a great episode of television. Of full television, oh. There is a house in the town of Fairview. Oh, Inside this I house know. lives a monster. The kind who kills women. Monsters are created by other monsters. Exactly. My god, that was great. My god, that was great. Stop. My god, that was... Okay. I'm not certain, but I think this is my favorite episode of Dashboard Drives. That was a great episode. What the? I, that was a great episode. Stop. Oh, she's, this episode literally makes me feel pity for a killer. The strangler of Julie and Irene, I don't care, but you know? And it makes me feel pity of him. Congrats. My God, what, what, what was this episode? Not, oh my God, that was great. That was a great episode. Congrats. This is why the TV show getting a lot of Emmys. I can't say anything else except that that was amazing. The story of Eddie, oh my god, Lynette, really? Come on. I'm not certain what's gonna be the end of Eddie. Can I be really honest? I don't want him to die. Oh my god, that was so good. The actor of Eddie, congrats for him. He was amazing. He carried this episode. I love all the scenes. Mary Alice is always a great person and shows that Eddie has an awful life since the beginning, since he was four. Oh my god, it's so awful. Oh my god.
Oké, okay, well, this episode was so good guys, I'm sorry, I don't have anything to say except this episode is good and this is over Amy. Only this episode. Congrats, my god, that was a great episode. In the end, Mary Alice is saying like how the monsters come to be, it was created by other monsters. Oh my god, yes, that's a great TV show. That was, I, I, I want to watch this full episode again right now. This was so good. Okay, that's it. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video until here. I really hope you like it. In case you do, you can subscribe, give me a like, and help me reach 10,000 subs someday. And also, I have a Patreon. I'm gonna post reactions, lessons, and post nice videos. As far as I know, everything is working, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and bye. There was a great piece of television. Full television, not only desperate.